Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Three Farmers Fava Beans. These are crunchy roasted fava beans. We have the sea salt, the zesty cheddar. A sweet chili and jalapeno lime. These were $3.29 at Good Foods Co-op, and this is a Canadian brand. It's actually Sa Saskatoon, Canada, www.3farmers.ca. We believe sustainable farming and minimal processing create clean, plant-based foods you'll feel good about eating. Perfectly seasoned and roasted, never fried. These irresistibly crunchy snacks are grown on Canadian family farms where everything we do is grounded in goodness. Gluten-free, nut and peanut-free, source of energy, and vegan. Four and a half servings per container. A fourth cup, 30 grams, is 110 calories. So this is just the sea salt. They look like little beans. Mm -hmm. We got some things that were beans that were really, really good, so. Hmm. Pretty crunchy. Come on now. No. It's a little pasty after you eat it, but. I forget. That's what I was going to say. We have tried many products like this before, different brands. And I forget how much they dry your mouth out. Mm -hmm. You really need a drink with these because they, um, the, the taste is fine, mm -hmm. but they will suck all the moisture right out of your mouth. Yeah. yeah they turn into like a, when you're chewing them, uh, it turns into like a thicker paste kind of like texture as you're, as you're eating them. Yes. Even though they're really, really crunchy when you first start crunching them, then they quickly turn into a pasty kind of texture. I agree. And they're so, not bad. They taste like beans. I don't, for that reason, I don't think you'll eat a lot. I think that would keep you from eating a lot in one sitting. Yeah. Because. Uh, kind of drink. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They're good. They're, they're, uh, they do have a light salted flavor. Yes. Um, they have a toasty kind of flavor when you first start eating them and then they turn into like this bean flavor. Yeah, but it's not overly bean. No, it's, it's not, not like I'm eating like a pinto bean or a black bean or something like that. Uh, this is uh, same calories and it is the zesty cheddar. Hmm. Ooh. It does taste different. Mm -hmm. I guess it's a little bit of cheese flavor. It has onion. That's what I'm mainly getting. Onion is what I'm getting. And too. garlic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, garlic and onion. I don't know that I would have said cheddar. Mm -mm. I would have said like onion and garlic. I mean, there's there even a slight cheese flavor. There's even like paprika extractives, which I'm not getting that at all. But it's mainly a really strong garlic and mm -hmm. onion. Yeah. I like it, I like but it, it doesn't too. taste like cheese. No, but it, it tastes, if you didn't like the flavor of the bean kind of flavor, mm -hmm. that covers it up a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. These, I'll tell you what, if I was vegan, these are the kind of snacks I would eat. Yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely. So this is the sweet chili, same calories. Okay. Because they seem to be really good quality. And they're yes. Very, they're very good and crunchy. Yes, I do like the crunch of them. This has uh, garlic and onion again, but it also has it also has the paprika. Mm. It's a little more. How about chili? Oops, there's some heat. Definitely some heat. Cayenne pepper. Mm-hmm. You know what? I say there's some heat, but it's it's like a little tingle on the back of your tongue, but that's it. It's not really like burn your mouth. I thought it was going to develop into that, but it never went further than that little bit. Those are nice too. It has a little bit of a smoky flavor too. Mm hmm You definitely get the addition of the cayenne pepper. Yeah, there is a tingle there. I do not think though, I don't think it's, it's not, uh, it's not too hot for me. Like no. I could eat a bunch of those and it would not, it wouldn't bother me at all. No, there's some barbecue chips out there that are hotter than these. Yeah, and these kind of, they do have a, a like a little smoky flavor to them. Mm -hmm. And I guess that is that cayenne pepper. Um, I like these, but I think I like the zesty cheddar more. I did too. The garlic and onion yeah. flavor. Yeah. Okay, now I'm excited about these. I like jalapeno. I have lime though, we'll see. Jalapeno lime, I know the lime might run up. Depends on how strong you the can definitely, You can smell the lime. Yeah. 
Oh, and these are these are the only ones. All the other ones were a fourth cup were 110. This is a, a fourth cup is 120. They're very strong line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, that tastes just like lime jello. Yeah. It really, really don't want does. That crunchy lime flavor. And I don't want a lime. I wanted to taste the jalapeno. Yeah. And it is. I don't crunchy. taste any jalapeno. I get all. I get a little bit of tingle from the jalapeno, but I don't get any of the, that green pepper flavor. No, the the jalapeno flavor is completely overridden by that really strong. It's literally lime jello. It's like they put lime jello powder in there and shaking them up. Yes, and I, I don't want, <laughs> I, that's not what I wanted. Right. If I, if they had had a, like if they did a sweet version and they were to let you know this was going to be lime jello, that would have been fine. Then it's like, okay, that's great. But I was expecting it to have jalapeno, so I was expecting it to have that, that heat. It does not. It does have a little bit of heat. I didn't think it is. Jalapenos well, don't bother you as that's much. True. They, they, they're that's hotter true. for me. Yeah. Um, I feel a little tingle on the back of my tongue, uh, but you don't taste them at all. Mm -hmm. My favorite is the cheese one. Mine is too. Yeah. I would get that cheese over and over again because I really like the garlic and mm -hmm. onion. I like and the my salt. My second one. one was my second choice would be the sweet chili. Was yeah. that what it was called? Sweet chili. Yeah, sweet chili. I think I'd just get the salt. Oh, really? Is your second one? Yeah. Uh, I think these are very, very good, though. Mm -hmm. And um, Good quality, good crunch. Yes, I've only seen this brand at Good Foods Co-op. And now we did buy three other bags of something from them. They're different beans. They're, okay. I, I don't remember even what it was. But These so, are fava beans, and those, those were another kind of bean. I don't remember. So we will be trying, well, there will be another review from this company of, of three different items. Uh, but I do think these are very, very good quality mm -hmm. and Good Foods Co-op. Um, although three twenty nine to me does not seem like a bad price for these at all. I would want to say Good Foods Co-op charges a lot more than other yeah, stores. Traditionally. Traditionally. So you may be able to find these cheaper. It would be interesting to know if, you, if you're in Canada watching this and you see these. It would be, of course, it's going to be. They probably don't even sell them in Canada. That has been... <laughs> we've, we've seen that before. Oh, yeah. Many times. Oh, it's like they said... Those are made in Canada. We've never even seen and that. And they ship them out to the Americans. But now, these are healthy, so they would eat these. Yeah, that's uh, true. They just don't want their people to eat the, the bad stuff. They send us the... the, the the bad stuff. So, uh, but so I hope I hope you all see these in your stores there. Uh, but I will have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.